Hey, what's up guys, Dan here, and I know this isn't my typical video setup right now, but I'm actually filming this about a week ahead of time as I'm in Mexico right now when you're watching this, so I'll drink a pina colada for you. But this is the gear that I typically take with me when I travel. Some of it's new, and we'll get into that, but typically this is what I take with me. When I travel, I typically take three bags. One is a suitcase, and that's just all my clothes and boring items that you guys don't care about. And I also take a drone. I am bringing the DJI Phantom 3 Professional. I did a video about this, not specifically reviewing it, but about drones in general. So I'll have that linked at the top. And it's a great drone. It's what I use to get all the drone footage you guys see. And I'll actually be doing a, another drone video this year when I get back from Mexico, so probably next Sunday you'll be seeing that. And then the third bag that I typically bring is just a backpack. Traditionally I've used a camera bag, but this year I have a lot of other non-camera stuff that I want to be able to take with me. So I'm just using this bag by Dakin or Dakine, I don't know exactly how to pronounce it. I don't know the exact model, but I'll try to find it and link it in the description along with most of this other stuff here if it's for sale. But this bag is great, has tons of pockets, tons of just tech pockets like a laptop or iPad sleeve, and plenty of storage. And inside that bag, this is typically what you're going to find. First off are some camera lenses. Right here I have the Sigma 18-35 to Art Series lens. It is probably my favorite lens of all time. It's kind of expensive, I know, but it's definitely the best lens I've owned and used. And it's really, really great price to quality performance, in my opinion. It's also pretty agreed upon as the best lens for tech YouTubers, so if you're thinking about a lens upgrade, you might want to check this one out. The next lens I have is actually the one that I'm filming this video on right now. It's the Rokinon 14mm, just a nice wide angle lens that I put on a stabilizer to get some pretty cool shots, and you'll see those in the travel video hopefully next Sunday, as I said. And then just a little bit wider, I'm not bringing too many lenses this year, the third lens I'm bringing is just the Nifty 50 Canon 1.8. I love this lens, it's only about $110, and you really can't go wrong with it. Now going off of the camera lenses, there's a camera body, you can't see it right now because I'm recording on it, but my camera of choice is the Canon EOS 70D, it's a great camera, I've had it for about a year and a half now, and I love it, and I don't plan on upgrading anytime soon. As for batteries, I also use the Canon battery grip, which is also on the camera right now, so you can't see that but I do bring a couple spare Canon batteries with me, and of course the camera charger. Well, I do have the nice mic setup. I don't think I'm gonna be bringing that with me this year. Instead, I'm just gonna be bringing the Rode Video Micro. I actually did a video on this last week explaining how to fix it if it breaks because mine broke and I know a lot of other people's broke. So if yours is broken, go watch that video. But I bring this little guy, it's just nice, pops on a hot shoe, and you basically forget it's there, it's super tiny. And then of course, the dead cat for that as well. And then right in front of me right here, I actually have the Apple Pencil, which has a slick wrap to look like a pencil on it. And then I have the iPad Pro 9.7 inch. I don't bring a laptop because I don't have one right now. I just bring the iPad, use it for media consumption, which is limited with the limited internet out there in Mexico. And I also do schoolwork on that and read books on that, so that's great because I don't have to worry about bringing all my textbooks with me because I do have homework. Yikes. Also on this side of the table, I have a white balance card. I don't use this too, too much, but it's nice just like at night because a lot of their lighting isn't the normal daylight bulbs that I use in my room for lighting videos. It's nice to just nail the white balance and not have to worry. And I also bring the Joby Gorillapod DSLR, or I think that's the name of this model. I'm not exactly sure. I'll have this one linked in the description. Either way, Casey Neistat uses this. I've had it for a long time. It's just a flexible travel tripod that takes up little to no room in your bag, but you can still have stable shots and also it lets you wrap the legs around something if you want to do time lapses or if I decide to do any vlog footage at all I put the camera on this hold it out and speak to the camera 
continuing over to my left, we have a new item I picked up this year. This is a iMorgan S60C Steadicam, I believe the model number it is. And it's just a Steadicam. I really want a DJI Ronin, but they're far too expensive for me to even consider buying one right now. It just doesn't make sense. This guy is nice and cheap, and I'm really excited to try this and see how the stabilization of this compares to something like the Ronin, which I have used. This also is made of carbon fiber, so it's light, but Steadicams are deceptively light. Like, I thought this was gonna be much lighter than it is, and with the camera and everything on it, it's definitely a deltoid workout, so I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be absolutely jacked. Get the beach bod at the beach. It wouldn't be a vacation without some sun, so these are the snap spectacles. I did a video on these, so you can click the I if you want to learn more about these. But basically, they're $130, they connect with Snapchat, and I'm gonna be able to just get some nice little footage of the beach and poolside activities without having to worry about bringing my big camera along or pulling out my phone. They're also not waterproof, so I really hope they don't end up in the pool or in the ocean. Of course, with the drone and the cameras and everything, there's a lot of storage space, so I have some SD cards, of course, and micro SD cards for the drone. My SD cards of choice are the SanDisk Extreme Pro. Nothing special, I just have a lot of them laying around. I love them, and they haven't failed me yet. So, there's a little bit of brand loyalty there. Of course, we're flying to Mexico, so I need some headphones. These are the AudioQuest Night Owls, the Night Owl Carbon. I did a video on these, they're really expensive, they're $700 headphones, so I'm excited that I get to listen to these on the plane rather than some crappy $50 headphones, but of course I can't just be walking around with these all the time, I'd look like a fool. So for that, I mean, I'm still a sucker for cheap audio and Apple, so you can't go wrong with the AirPods. I mean, ear pods, not the ear pods, these are the wired ones. Either way, cheap, reliable, they're always there, and they work. So there's some stuff that I bring with me that isn't here right now, just because I can't find it right now, or I didn't want to get it out. Of course, I bring my charging cables with me for everything, the case for the snap spectacles, and then also battery packs for anything imaginable, whether that be the camera or phones and whatnot. But this gives you a basic idea of the gear that I take with me when I travel. If you want to keep up with my travel adventures in Mexico, feel free to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, any of those social media sites. My handle is at dgillis98. I'll put it on screen right now. And now yeah, that wraps up this video guys, it's been Dan from DG Tech. If you like the video, make sure you get a thumbs up, subscribe for more content like this, and leave a comment down below. I upload every Sunday at noon, as I mentioned. Hopefully next Sunday's video will be a travel recap with some great cinematics and a break from all the tech. But until next time, peace.